Hello, it's Sarah here from My Indie Life blog. Today, I wanted to show you how I use the free plan of Hootsuite. I use this as a social media scheduler and it helps me keep up to date, not only with the posts that I'm scheduling, but also with the content that I have live on each of my social networks. And also it allows me to do one extra thing called social listening. So it's a great tool. It is free to a certain extent. Um, there are quite a few, obviously, um, bits and bobs on their tools and analytics and that kind of thing that you cannot access with the free plan. But it certainly gives you a good introduction as to what you can do with Hootsuite. And so then when you're ready to move on to the paid version, you have a really clear idea of how it suits your business. So. Usually when you start up with Hootsuite, what they will do is they will ask you to connect your social media networks. So that will happen on uh, this page, which is your if you press the little icon of yourself up in the top right hand corner and select manage social networks. This is where all of your social networks will show up. On Hootsuite, on the free plan, you're allowed up to three social networking sites. So here you can see I've got uh, my Instagram page, Facebook page and Twitter page connected. So once I've got those connected, it means that I can see content from those platforms. And it also means that I can then post to those platforms. So along the uh right uh, sorry the left hand side of your screen uh, you'll see a pop out menu if you press streams what hootsuite will ask you to do is generate your first um tab here uh, so let me open a new tab to show you what that process looks like so at the top you can name a new tab so i'm going to call it instagram I could spell, wouldn't it? <laughs> and what it does is it asks you to add the content that you would like. So I'm going to um, press this one, browse all streams. Then it will add what Hootsuite calls a stream. So that means a column of information that you can see certain things that you ask of Hootsuite to show you. So I'm going to select right here my Instagram page, and you'll see that it gives me a certain amount of um, information that I can pull up as a data feed. So I'm gonna pull up my posts. And as that syncs, it will show you what I've recently posted. It will show you how many likes that got. It will also show you um, comments as well. So where there's been a comment, you can see that there. Um, more comments on this one. You can view the comments underneath and you can also reply to comments. So if I wanted to say at uh, my indie life, hello, or something like that, then I can do that there and that will post that to Instagram for me. So it's quite a nice way of not being able to just schedule new content, but also to keep up with the content that you have active on your sites. So you're doing that all in one place rather than going in and individually signing in to each of those separate applications. Once you've set up your first stream, Hootsuite will ask you immediately to have a look at setting up a secondary stream. So on here, again, you can select which network you, what you would like. But as my tab that I created earlier suggests, this is my Instagram section of Hootsuite. So I want to add my scheduled content. Uh, again, you can see in this particular instance, I've already got something um, ready to go out on Instagram. Uh, now, you may know, having used some other social media uh, schedulers that Instagram doesn't like to be direct posted to. So it means that when you schedule something here, you need to have the app for Hootsuite on your phone or your smart device so that 
Hootsuite can send you a ping just to say, is it OK if I post this to Instagram for you? And you'll have to follow the steps that Hootsuite um, ask you to go through in order to get that post onto Instagram. There is some help information about that. If you need that specifically, drop a comment in under this video and I will uh, post a link to that page for you just so that you can find that information. Um, and then you can go on from there. So there are, of course, there are other things that you can you can have a look at if you want. I think currently on Instagram, but only for a short amount of time further. I think it's about a month. So by the end of 2018, you won't be able to do this. But um, you can look up a hashtag. So I don't know. Let's say. Let's have a look at my hashtag. So that adds that there. If we add that, then you can see everything that shows up where somebody has used my hashtag. So if you have a specific hashtag that you follow or that you use regularly, um, this is the place where you can come and constantly keep an eye on that. Um, as I say, uh, it seems that Hootsuite won't be able to do this as of uh, December the 11th, 2018. So if you're coming to this video slightly later, apologies, this part of the system won't be free. Um, but it does look like uh, Hootsuite will be developing a newer version of this. So you'll just have to sort of um, either contact Hootsuite directly about that. There'll probably be some information on help page somewhere or um, drop in and just see what their updated version is. OK, so anytime you want to add a new tab, so say, for example, I wanted to do the same for um, Facebook, I just go up here and you'll see a little black cross there. So let's I'm going to do uh, Twitter. Oh. Again, I press browse or streams got Twitter shown up so I can um, look at what we can look at my tweets. We can look at what I've got scheduled. We can look and see who's mentioned me. We can also have a look at retweets and things like that. So it what this does is, again, it allows you to see lots of different data that's happening live over on your Twitter feed. So you don't have to actively be um, available um, on Twitter all the time. You can be just logged in permanently to your Hootsuite during your working day and answer questions from there. You have this, exactly the same information. You can see um, you have an opportunity to reply direct from Hootsuite. Um, you can see how many people have retweeted things, how many people have liked things. Um, and this just really helps you to manage your social media time, which is why I recommend Hootsuite as one of the social media social media schedulers that um, I find really useful. So I'm going to go back to my first tab, which is called schedules, which is basically where I have set up uh, the posts that I want to go out onto my social media content. And because I do in, in this case, I've got two pieces of content. I want to go across two different platforms. It's quite a nice way for me to be able to go into this section and just see, OK, yes, actually, both of those are um, active. They're going to go out at a certain time and they're going to go out on a certain date. So now I'm just going to quickly show you how to compose a new piece of content um, and then it's really up to you to just dive in and set up your own schedule. So when you want to add a new piece of content, you're working up here on the left in this area. So you'll find that on the side of that top left box that pops out, you'll be able to see the social networks you're connected to. So I'm going to pick, um, let's say, let's say Facebook, because I've not got something on Facebook. So when you select it, it will highlight as blue. Um, so that means that whatever content you put in here will post to that specific um, channel. You can select all of them or you can select just some of them if you like. Um, 
I'm just going to go with my Facebook page for the moment. I've got a couple of things that I would like to uh, to to post. So let's start with with just one so that you can see how that works. So I've written on um, a piece of uh, sorry, on an open page on my on a Word document, the piece of content that I would like to post. So I just copy and paste that in there. Of course, you can uh, go ahead and make that for yourself. What Hootsuite will do is it will try to pull images through if you've got a link within the description of the content that you've got out there. So you can go ahead and use that if you like. If you don't want to do uh, to use that, just click this little cross here that says remove preview. And then what you can do is you can attach media here. So if you just click on that, it will open up and it will give you two options. You can either add a photo or a video, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can, uh, if you were connected to YouTube as one of your channels, you can um, upload videos um, or share videos from your YouTube channel to other social media networks, which is quite a nice way of, again, not having that extra tab open if you do run videos on YouTube so that you can have everything nice and easy in one place, which just makes life a little bit um, better when you're creating content for your social networks. So go back to upload. I'm going to press files that will open up uh, the relevant files for me. And that starts to add down here. You can see the blue process bar will eventually um, go green once that image is uploaded. Whilst that image is uploading, uh, the other thing with Facebook as well is that you can work out exactly which album you want that to go into if that's that's something that you want to do. Uh, the next thing that I always do is I um, add my schedule. So I don't post moment to moment. What I do is I create a schedule and post in advance. That saves me lots of time and makes me much more productive when it comes to my social media content. When you open this part of Hootsuite, you'll see a number of different things. You'll see, first of all, particularly on the free account, you'll see how many messages you have available left to use. So Hootsuite will only allow you to post 30 or have 30 pieces of content in your schedule at any point in time. And that's across your network. So if, if I was posting this piece of content to all three networks, that would count as three separate messages. Um, in Hootsuite terms. OK, so you can choose then to auto schedule, which at the moment is toggled off, but I can toggle that on. Um, if I'm doing that, uh, it's always best to press this little cog by the side there. And what will happen is that will open up your auto scheduling days. So you can decide uh, how many days of the week you would like your auto schedule to work on. So you can select all of them or some of them or just one of them. You can select how many times you would like this auto scheduler to post on your behalf per day. And you can also select the times as well that you want that schedule to work itself out on. Um, what happens is Hootsuite will then uh, work out the best times for you to post um, each day. And it works out that information based on an algorithm. Um, I'm, I am not entirely sure whether it's related to your content or whether it's to, to their own specific um, sort of data that they've collected. But anyway, that's how auto scheduling work. I personally don't tend to use this because I find that for my audience, it tends to post out at times that aren't quite apt for my particular audience. But, you know, have a play around, work out what suits you and what's best for you. So if you do prefer to auto schedule, make sure you toggle that on. And then all you have to do is press the blue button here, auto save if everything is OK. And that will save to your intended network and it will go out on the scheduled time uh, that is available next. So in this case, I'm going to toggle that off because I don't actually want my piece of content to auto schedule. Instead, I want to plan ahead. So let's say I want this particular piece of content to go out on the 6th of December 2018. 
I can then change the times if I want to. So I don't know, let's say I want that to go 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I can choose whether I want it to email me when it's sent. I generally don't tend to do that, particularly if you're scheduling lots of things. You don't want an abundance of emails that really aren't necessary. Um, if you're using a scheduler, generally you'll be logged in at some point during the day or during the week so you can see exactly what has posted, what hasn't, um, you know, because occasionally there are bugs as with all of these systems. So sometimes things do go wrong. So it's if you do set up a scheduler, I always recommend that you log in and check that things are posting regularly. If I'm happy with all of that, I press schedule. As that saves. You get a message up the top to say that that's been scheduled and after a while that will show up on your um, schedule there for the relevant channel and it will show that it is scheduled at the time on the date that you picked for it to go out. So that's really the, the basics of how Hootsuite works and I think particularly as a beginner just to get you started um, I'm going to leave this video here and we can always come back and do a follow up on Hootsuite and have a look and dive in deeper to some of the other things that you can do here on Hootsuite with the free account. But certainly to get you started, I think that's more than enough. So I hope that's been helpful. Any questions, please drop them in the comment section of this video and I will be along to help shortly.